this is Chainmail Fashions. We here at Chainmail Fashions make chainmail for all occasions, and those occasions when only chainmail will do. We make the underwear that's fun to wear. Would you like to see that? Well, you're in luck. I have a few very dedicated volunteers, mostly owners, wearing their own chainmail that are going to come out here and risk their skin to show you their chainmail outfits. Do you want to see that? Well, there's a couple of things that i got to tell you before I can let them come out. My costuming in and of itself goes over some people's limits. Put that together with I have a bunch of volunteers that are going to be vying for your attention and who knows what they might do. Put those things together and if there's any chance that we might offend you, we almost certainly will. Um, we don't mind offending anybody, we just don't want to do it by accident. There's good family entertainment a hundred yards in either direction. And you're welcome to avail yourself of that. But if you would like to see the Chainmail Fashion Show, let's hear it. That's great, that's really great. Um, Today we have kind of a special ceremony for you before the actual show begins. And unfortunately for you, it starts with a short story. Last year on opening weekend, one of my longtime dressers, Heather, transitioned to being an owner when she bought a halter top. Shortly thereafter, she met a photographer named Frank, who had come all the way down here from Alaska just to take pictures. He came specifically for this show to take pictures. And he and Heather, after the show uh, last year, ended up spending half an hour or so doing a private photo shoot in the Secret Gardens. They exchanged emails, and over the course of a few months, realized that they really, really enjoyed one another's conversation and had so much in common. When during the year Frank had an opportunity to move his business to the Houston area from Alaska, he did so so that he could be closer to Heather. And that has paid off well for him. Tomorrow they will be having a private marriage ceremony at the home of an invalid relative that cannot travel at all. They have asked me to ask you if you would be witness to their public ceremony. Can you do that for me? Well, without further ado, I will bring out Frank and Ehrlich, who will be officiating. Give your spouse 
the same courtesy that you bestow on your friends. Say, I love you every week. Frank and Heather, I remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely each and every day. Please join hands and look into each other's eyes. Frank, with this understanding, do you, do you take Heather Aguilar to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and to be faithful only to her, so long as you both survive? <laughs> and Heather, with this understanding, do you take Frank Kowalczyk to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and to be faithful only to, to him so long as you both so live? Yeah! I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woo! Yeah! May you live together 
in blissful happiness from this day forward. You may now seal your vows with a kiss.
say too much about this young lady, but one thing I do know is she likes to <laughs> <shot laughs> nice things.